I think the markets are quite solid, not only in the U.S., but around the world for our dental products, medical products, and, of course, the products we sell to companion animal veterinarians. And you're spinning off and merging that vet business. How is that process going? Yeah, so we are spinning off our animal health business into a separate public company and merging it with Vets First Choice to create a leading provider of products and related services to veterinarians. Very, very excited about that. think the opportunity to drive more pets into the veterinary office is quite high with this uh, joint venture that is now going to be spun off. The pet market's been just, it's been a hot investment. We've seen a lot of M&A, a lot of deals, a lot of everything around that space right now. How are you valuing that? Well, of course, the baby boomers are buying more pets and the millennials are also investing in pets. So it's a great area to be in. Um, Amazon has obviously been a big focus when we talk about your company as well as your peers in the past year or so. The fact that they're getting into the dental supply business. Uh, a number of investors have come out recently, and certainly it's not playing out in your earnings this morning, and have said that, you know, the fear here has been overdone. Have you seen an Amazon effect? The, the online retailers, uh, Morgan, have not been very successful in our space. Look, we are selling to practices. We're helping office-based dental, medical, and veterinary practices operate a more efficient practice so that they can provide a better clinical care. So we have a plethora of services we provide from, of course, the supply chain all the way to providing equipment, service, sales of that equipment, of course, laying out the office. We have a very tight relationship with our customers on the advisory side. And so uh, with over 4,000 field sales consultants around the world, uh, I, I think we will continue to do very well as we have for the past 80 plus years. So if Amazon or online retailers aren't keeping you up at night, what is? Trade? Something else? I'm actually sleeping quite well, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, having said that, what is very important is, of course, to be on top of your business and ensure that uh, you remain most relevant to your customers, and that's what we do each day, providing a, a, wider, range, a wider range of value-added services to our customers. You've come in here over the years, oftentimes with announcements of deals. You, you like to make deals. What, what's on the horizon for you? I know you're not going to give away the store and what you're <laughs> actually planning to do, but... To the extent that there's tuck-ins or places where you think that you have a, a hole or an opportunity, let's call it an opportunity rather than a hole. Well, uh, Andrew, the, the goal is, of course, to have internal growth. And actually, since 2016, our internal growth has been in the range of 4 to 6 percent. Having said that, we augment that with acquisition growth, with inorganic growth. And we're expanding our business from an inorganic point of view globally, markets that we're not in. Yes, there are tuck-ins so and value-added services. What's the market you want to be in or service that you don't have that you would like to have? We would like to advance our business in the value-added services, specifically adding on to our joint venture with Internet Brands, Henry Schein One. Internet Brands, the owner of WebMD. We've set up this joint venture to provide value-added services in the practice solutions area, in the software area. We want to add to that. We want to add to dental, medical, specialty products. And there's so much to add to the platform. Um, before we let you go, I just want to get an update. The FTC antitrust complaint that's been playing out uh, for you and some of the other companies in the space this year. Any update on that? Well, Morgan, we, we think it's meritless and uh, we are uh, uh, vigorously defending ourselves.